you guys double wide six and I'm in the process of setting up this mini split and I already made video one and that's pretty much on the electrical and video two is what we're on right now and what we're going to show you is how to hook up the indoor unit in the house we're going to pass the lines through the wall and uh, we're also going to set up the line set cover and basically have everything done on the inside. We're looking at the back of the unit here and they give you a mounting plate and what we're going to do is center this up right where we want it. Um, in case there's not studs exactly where we want it, uh, what we're going to do is use these uh, spiral drywall connectors. I think each of these are rated to hold about 100 pounds. So uh, we'll get this secured up to the wall and keep moving on. We're just taking a look at the lines. Um, the lines by factory come out the uh, right side of the unit when you're facing the front. So that's for the power and for the line sets and also the drain line. This unit allows you to run it either out the front right side or the front left. Now if you're going to run it out the front left you're going to have to add your line sets on here and, and put a 90 degree bend to go out this way. You can also uh, move your drain line over to you pop this plug off and move this drain line over here uh, if you want to. So um, I'm trying to figure out which way I, I want to drain it. I got everything calculated and figured out, I believe. Now I'm just drilling a pilot hole through the wall. It's going to angle down just a little bit for the condensation drain. Now I'm going to drill through from the inside with a two and a half or a two and five eighths hole saw bit. This one's actually 64 millimeters. I'll put a link to that in the description for you. I'm going to drill from both sides. The next step here, I believe, is to turn these things like 90 degrees. So I'm just going to carefully turn these lines. And I pulled back the insulation just so I can watch what's happening as I try and bend them. So we'll put our insulation on this. And there's a couple of little plastic covers that I need to put on here as well. I'm just going to keep these caps on here. And we'll just try and get everything nice and tight together. Looks like I forgot the electrical wire. I put the plastic cover on over here. This one where the wiring comes through and this one that holds back the line set.
All right, guys, I made my bends, and now what I want to do is loosen up these caps, and this should let out and release some nitrogen. And that nitrogen's in there from when they pressure test them at the factory. So if there's not nitrogen coming out, you may have an issue. Looks like it's just on the small line. So I'm pretty happy with the install so far. Um, I have the line coming down the wall and I use this uh, protective cover which looks real nice. Here I am, I'm just cutting away the drain line. Now the drain line came with the installation kit and uh, I taped it to the stub and fit that on nice behind that uh, decorative thing where it connects together. So uh, it turned out that the way I was going to hook up my line set, my line was going to be about seven or eight foot long. And the issue is the unit is pre-charged with Freon and there would be too much Freon for a seven foot line. The line set that comes with it is 16 foot. And I talked to the manufacturer and they said that you have to use a minimum of uh, 10 foot. So rather than making it 10 foot and flaring the ends it would still be uh, coiled up and you know if I could redo this I would probably put the compressor down about 8 foot and run the line along the house but what I've decided to do was to dig out some earth here about about 8 inches or so and I'm coiling up the uh, lines and uh, I put down landscape fabric down there in the bottom and that'll allow water to drain out and up top I'm going to cover it kind of with like a wooden block box and then I'm going to put some rocks over it and landscape it. So uh, at least the line's the right length as far as the Freon and it's going to look neat when I'm done. By coiling up the line flat, it helps prevent oil from getting stuck. I notice a lot of people just coil it up vertically and it looks pretty hideous behind the unit. But by laying it down flat like this, I think the manufacturer called it serpentining, um, it should prevent oil from getting caught. And also, uh, I'm not putting earth or soil right against the lines, so we're gonna use the air to actually insulate the lines. 
So I have this box, like I said, it's, it's sitting on top of the landscape fabric. And here I am, I'm just sort of pulling the lines through it and maneuvering it all into place. The idea is once I get everything set, it should be hidden and I should be able to access it if I need to down the road. So uh, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm putting on this accordion thing to kind of hide the lines and protect the lines a little better. Um, so I'll just slide this over the lines and get that in place. And then I'm going to landscape over this with uh, some of the matching rocks. The plywood I used is uh, waterproof plywood. I guess it's used for flooring in houses. And I put a piece of rubber over top of the plywood to help protect it and keep out water. Now any water that gets down in there should drain through. And I'm just carefully putting these rocks over this. And in the future if I need to get in there I'll just move the rocks out of the way and uh, I should have access. Well here's a look at the unit. So far, everything looks really good. I'll bring you in here. I'll show you how this wooden thing and the line is hidden. Um, I know it's there. If uh, anyone would try and dig, they'd see the line or they'd hit the plywood before they'd actually hit the copper. So uh, I'm pretty happy with what I have. And I really like this line set cover. Um, I got that from Amazon and I'll put the links down below. You guys need to stay tuned for video three where we're going to vacuum pump the system and get everything wrapped up. Thanks for watching guys.